Hi everyone, my name is Tim Poffenbarger, and I am a solutions architect at GitLab. And I wanted to provide you a brief introduction to the, the snowball effect that comes when you use GitLab as your complete DevOps platform, and how that can fundamentally change the way your development, operations, security, and testing teams interact with one another. What you have before you right now is the merge request page. This is a merged change, uh, and you can see the brief overview, um, the number of commits that ran, uh, the pipelines that ran, and the, the changes that were made. Uh, we're just introducing a button. This is a small iterative change, the, the type of change that we like at GitLab. And uh, you can also see on this overview page the most recent pipeline that ran. Uh, the, the build passed and all the testing passed, and you can see that there were a smattering of uh, security um, tests that ran GitLab was also able to provision me a uh, unique environment uh, so I can log into this and review this application. Uh, but once that review app was deployed, uh, dynamic analysis also took place and performance um, testing took place as well. I did my due diligence on this change. Uh, you can see that the merge request was approved by a handful of people. I had the testing team sign off on it. I also did a uh, peer review uh, from one of my fellow uh, developers. And there was a, a new vulnerability that was introduced. And uh, this requires the, the security team to sign off on this change as well. Uh, you can see that there are no changes to code quality and that security scanning um, detected no new vulnerabilities, but there was a new license compliance, which uh, warranted that vulnerability check for the security engineering team. Um, all of the team, uh, including myself, we recorded our time over here. It's attached to a milestone. Um, but once that sign off happened, I went ahead and merged this into our master branch, which is great. Uh, and subsequently, after that merge um, into master occurred, a new master branch pipeline kicked off, which reran some of my tests and eventually deployed this back into production. Unfortunately, I don't have access to deployed production, or maybe fortunately, uh, so I engaged my operations team and they deployed this into our production level environment. And I am so excited to be able to show this change to you. Uh, you can see my beautifully blue, new, innocuous button, and l that's not supposed to happen. Okay, uh, so the users are experiencing a problem. Let me go ahead and back, hop, hop back into GitLab and go to my Operations Feature Flags page. Fortunately, this button was protected behind a feature flag, which gives me the ability to quickly disable this within the GitLab user interface. Um, so the users no longer um, are seeing this, this button. And now when I refresh the page, you no longer see this button, which is great. But I need to do some investigative work. GitLab also has the ability to uh, receive all your errors um, of the, the running application. And you can see that there was a, uh, a, a division by zero error that took place 41 seconds ago. So let me go ahead and click on this. And um, you can see exactly in the how many events this um, has, uh, how many times this has occurred, the number of users that have been impacted, as well as exactly where in the code this um, was problematic. So let me go ahead and create an issue. And this issue now uh, can be created by the operations team and then assigned to the development team. And the, the development team now has, um, you know, straight, straight from the code base uh, where this error is occurring what users are being impacted, and then they can create a merge request and get that process started all over again. Hopefully uh, this, was, this brief overview um, helps you see some of the value that comes with using GitLab as your single DevOps platform. Thanks for joining me.